In today's video, we are using for the first time ever the blackest black paint, the most luxurious products on the market. You're going to learn how to mix them, how to pour them, and then how to blow them out. Let's get started. Before I start this video, I want to put a disclaimer out there. These products are extremely expensive. I'm going to tell you right now, you want to use something like this for something such as embellishing, adding fine details to a painting, something special where you don't need to use a lot of it. Now today, I'm going to be the test dummy that tries it for acrylic pouring. However... <laughs> I would not recommend taking this $40 little bottle of paint and using it for acrylic pouring. Now, I was lucky enough to receive this as a gift from a viewer and very good friend of mine, Amy. Amy, thank you so very much. She not only got me this, but she also gave me a gift card to get some other products I liked. So that's what I did. I chose to get some of these beautiful chameleon acrylic paints. Now, you know, a lot of times with brands like this, like, don't get me wrong, chameleons are super expensive for a whoever's creating the paints to purchase and add into their products. Extremely, extremely expensive. So that's why you see a little tiny cup of the dry chameleon pigment and it's like $20 for a little tiny like teaspoon worth of it because it's extremely expensive so this set here a four piece set was $70 so I got them for things like embellishing I'm not going to use them in, in acrylic pouring that would just be stupidity you know you don't waste money like that as much as I would love to do that for you I mean you can't necessarily blame me I don't think <laughs> then again if you do hey I'm used to being blamed for things but anyway these love tone love potion colors they are just beautiful and they color shift like the, it's hard to see it on camera let me turn on the flash this is a green gold um this one, you can see it the best on camera, the purple to blue or green, blue, teal. But yeah, the products that this guy sells are absolutely gorgeous. But I have a feeling a lot of it you're paying for packaging because the packaging is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if I ever owned a paint company, I would love to do something like you know, cute little bottles like this for my colors. But it does cost money to do something like that. So, yeah, so I got these too. So I'm going to be showing you these in a future video. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the blackest black paint in a Dutch pour. And here's the kicker. We are doing an all black Dutch pour on a champagne gold base. And we're going to add a little tiny, tiny bit of gold in with the black so that there's a little bit of, uh, you know, design to this thing. And it has a little bit of color, but I want to use the blackest black and use it in a big way. So an all black Dutch pour with hints of gold coming up your way. So let's inspect this paint. Cute little bottle. I'll tell you that much. Let's see how black it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some into a cup. All right. And then I'm going to just take a paintbrush and paint it on this piece of paper just to see what it looks like. Just see what it looks like. It's just 
I'm just curious, that's all. To see if it looks any different than other blacks. And it is super, super uh, saturated. And this, this dries matte, it says on here. Super flat, super matte, ultra pigmented acrylic paint. All right. So it is extremely, extremely dark for a black paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in a cup. We're going to do our uh, one part paint to two parts flow trawl. And we're going to go ahead and, and mix that up and see how this behaves for an acrylic pour. So I have about approximately a tablespoon of paint in the cup. I'm going to fill it up three quarters of the way with Floetrol because this is so pigmented, this color, or this brand, I should say, you can get away with using a little paint with a lot of Floetrol. So just going to mix it in just like any other acrylic paint. Alrighty, mix is nice. Very nice. That's a nice consistency too. I don't know if you can see that. That's a hard color to see on camera for consistency. I'll show you with the uh, champagne gold I'm gonna make. So that's our black. We're gonna do the same thing for our gold. Put about a tablespoon of paint, fill it up three quarters of the way, and if it's not running or look and feel like this one does we're going to thin it down okay if you have an issue with consistency and you don't know what the right consistency is in the description i will link a video that teaches you how to test your paint for the right consistency and in that video if you go to the description of it there's a link for a free printable consistency chart to help you get on the right path. Now, all of the directions are in this video that I'm linking in the, the description of this video. Okay, so let's make our custom champagne color. I'm gonna add some 24 karat gold into my cup. I need a lot of this color, so. I'm making a, a big cup of it. And then I'm going to take a bottle of this Deco Art Pearls, uh, Snow White Pearl, and I'm going to add a little bit at a time until I reach that light champagne gold color I'm looking for. I'm hoping this will work. Aha, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Just a pretty champagne gold. Now I'll go ahead and add in my flow trawl and mix it all up really good. And I'm not using all of this on that canvas, I don't think. I'm doing a 16 by 20. I don't think I'll need all of this. So for this one, I could tell I'm going to need some water in it. So before I keep mixing the rest of the way, I'm just going to add my water now. now. I hate to say this, folks. This is a guessing game with the water. That's why that consistency chart will help you. Okay. Um, once you, you realize what the right consistencies are and you've been doing this a while, you'll be able to do what I just did and know that that's either going to be not enough or really close to being perfect. You know what I mean? I don't have to measure. Um, but you have to find out what that right consistency is first to be able to do that, to memorize what it feels like to do, uh, to mix up Dutch pour paints, how thin they should be. Okay? So that chart will help you in achieving that. Once you mix up paints... Like when anybody takes a class with me and they actually feel the paints in person, which by the way, I'm doing a class here in Connecticut in April 
If you're interested, you can send me an email, artbytammy at yahoo.com. It's an all-day class. You're going to learn the four consistencies of acrylic pouring, the four main consistencies. We're going to go over a bunch. We're going to do a couple of paintings, a uh, bloom recipe you'll learn, and probably a Dutch pour. Um, but once you feel this in person and you say, wow, that's a lot thinner or thicker than I thought, once you actually feel it, you're going to be able to remember what it feels like and be able to do it without worrying about measurements and all that. But first you have to get to this point where you know what it feels like. So that chart that I have is the closest thing that I can think of that translates to you how thin my paints are right now that I'm mixing using that chart. All right, so let me thin this the rest of the way, and I'll be right back. Okay, are we ready to try the world's blackest paint? I might just say the world's most expensive acrylic paint. <laughs> I mean, I can't find any acrylic paint that's $40 for three ounces or $30 for three ounces of it. Maybe you can, but... Let me have my fun with it. The world's most expensive acrylic paint. So we have gold. We obviously have our black. Black is black. They also sell a white is white and a pink is pink. And it's a really fun, really, um, he did a really good job with design and packaging and all that. Really fun place to shop on, but again, very expensive. And our custom champagne gold we made. Okay? If you don't have those two colors, you can take some pearl medium and some champagne gold and a little bit of white and try to get it to that shade. So we'll start by pouring it on our canvas here. And I'm going to spread it around. I'll probably tilt it around until the entire thing is covered. So there are multiple ways to spread paint around on the canvas when it comes to your base coat, flood coat, pillow paint, whatever you're calling it these days. You can pour a puddle like I just did and tilt the canvas around until it's totally coated. You're not looking for depth. You're looking for the canvas to be lubricated with the color paint that you're using for your base coat. You want a nice even layer you just want to tilt it around, get rid of any excess paint that may be floating on the surface. You do not want depth. You just want it to be coated in a very thin layer of your base color. You can also put a puddle of paint on the canvas and blow it around with a blow dryer until it's coated. Or you can also put a puddle of paint on the canvas and spread it around with a spatula. Just be careful if you're a new pour artist that you do not leave too much paint on the canvas using a spatula. So now I'm going to lay down a nice heavy line of the blackest black. And then I'm going to put a layer of gold on top of that black. And then I'm going to cover the gold with some more black. And we're going to get some nice gold outlining doing it that way. A majority of the painting, however, will be black. Or I should say a majority of the blowout will be black. So I'm going to let you enjoy the process of this and I will be back shortly.
this is quite interesting. This paint is reacting with the 24K, of course, in the flow trial, creating all of these, like, the big pearl cells with a lot of lacing. Like, it's eating up the color almost. But I've said this before. I actually like this effect when this happens. So I'm okay with it. I know a lot of people don't like it because it loses color. But for me, this painting right here, I see so many opportunities for so many different um, embellishments that I can add into it in the future. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to let it keep doing its thing. And um, what's going to end up happening is we'll get some more of these pearl cells probably over in this area. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So I'll come back in about an hour and give you a final update, which will be a blink of an eye for you. My personal opinion on this brand of paint for brush painting, hell yeah. For acrylic pouring, don't waste your money. Yes, it's very black, but it's not worth $30, $40 to me, if you ask me. Oh, and just so you know, I planned on not going all the way around with this blowout. I wanted to do kind of like a three-corner-ish kind of blowout and use this for a future uh, background painting. So when I get back from North Carolina, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of next-level acrylic pours where I take them and turn them into something else. And also, um, North Carolina is a Saturday if you're in town near Charlotte. Canela Siraco and I will be there. I think there's like four or five seats left. So if you're interested, send us an email, fluidartescape at gmail.com. Alrighty, here we are three hours later. This is it. Nothing else is going to change. It'll be drawing like this. And uh, I'm, you know, something like I said, I enjoy when these little funky things happen where like, you know, paints interact together and essentially, like I said, what's happening is it's eating up the color around the edges, but I don't mind that. I, I kind of like that look. It's a unique look. So we'll let it dry and then I'm definitely going to be adding glitter to this um, in a future video. Once it's dry, I don't have time to wait for it to dry and show you that because I'm off to North Carolina now within less than 24 hours. So I will be there painting with Miss Canella and teaching. So this is what you're going to get from me for now. <laughs> and uh, also I want to tell you that Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, there will be no video because again, I will be in North Carolina. So come back next Sunday or I'm sorry, next Wednesday to see my latest video. I hope that you all have a magnificent week. Thank you so very much for joining me. Check out the description for information on products and coupons that I have on products and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm just so, blah. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for joining me. And until the next time, which will be next Wednesday, happy pouring.